Hi, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing really well. So in this video, as you can see by the title, I am gonna be showing you my two good to go bags and a bit of reduced food shopping. I did manage to nab a little bit reduced last night. So I'm gonna show you that today. Also, I might have lipstick on my teeth as well, so don't mind that. Yeah, I've gone to the dark side today, you know, a bit of a dark vampy lipstick on. So it's probably all over my teeth, to be honest. <laughs> Hope you're all doing really well anyway. I did get this last night. I just really fancied getting a Too Good To Go bag. I thought, you know what, sorry, I'll get two. So that's what I'm going to show you today. If you think you'll like this kind of video, don't forget to hit like, don't forget to subscribe and keep on watching. The only places in my area that do decent reduced is co-op. The perfect time for reduced in co-op near me is seven o'clock, um, seven at night. So I thought, oh, you know, I'll go down there, I'll have a little look. And I managed to get a few good bits. Like it's not the best reduced haul that I've got before. Like I've managed to get chickens for pence. I've had like joints of beef for like 40p and stuff. So it's not like that, but I still like a bargain. Do you know what I mean? I still appreciate a bargain. Did nip to both of the co-ops in my local area. So it is a mixed one from both stores. Got some of this bread. It is only a tiny loaf. And to be honest, it looks like a bloody... I don't know, Christmas hamper, doesn't it? <laughs> so this is a bit of malted grains and seeds from good old Warburton's, you know, and I got this for 25p. It's originally £1.65. Now, I don't know who's paying £1.65 for half a loaf. Half a loaf of bread. But for 25p, I thought, oh, I like a bit of seeded bread. It's literally like a little present, how they've wrapped it. Like, it's got a little label on and everything. It says, we've created this range of breads with delicious ingredients. <laughs> um, yeah, I got that for 25p. Also, I got some naan bread as well. It's probably naan bread, you know. I say it like nan, like how's your nan? It, yeah, I think it's naan bread. You know I'm a bit shit with pronunciation. <laughs> but 20p down from a pound, I thought that was a bit of a bargain. Even if they go in the freezer, because I'm not planning on using them anytime soon. So, you know, they're all right for the freeze and stuff like this. I always freeze my bread and pitters and anything like that, you know, if I'm not going to use them. Also, I grabbed some wraps as well. These are the mini ones. Originally £1.5 and I got them for 21p, which I thought was a bit of a bargain, because, you know, we quite often have wraps. We make our own for heater kits, but, like, we don't buy the box. Like, we buy everything individual. So um, it works out cheaper that way. Grab some of this and all oh, this looks quite nice. I have to say I do like a bit of soup and this one is chicken and vegetable. This was originally £1.75. <laughs> not for me. But, you know, I'll take it at 35p, which is what I got it for. I'm not a cheapskate, do you know what I mean? Like there are things that I will pay full price for. A bit of soup I ain't paying £1.75 for unless I'm sat down with a crusty roll. Picked up a few tarts and all, didn't I? <laughs> not one missing it's just how they've like fell on top of each other but 39p for £1.95 for six am I a tight ass or is that the norm I don't know but I paid 39p quite like a caffeine beverage in the evening with the tart or two so um grab two of these for the boys as well they say best before the second which was yesterday's date like best before is literally just like they're better before that date but like, it makes no difference to me, honestly. Unless it's green and furry, I'm not really bothered by the date on it. Eight candy cane brownie bites. So I thought they'll quite like that with an hot chocolate in the evening. Because like I said, we've gone a bit hot chocolate mad. They're only 32p down from a pound and I thought they'll last a few days. Got a pack of these reduced and all. I know what you're thinking, it's all bakery stuff. Like, it, it is. Most of all this is bakery stuff. But there are a few fresh bits in there. But I tried one of these last night, hence why there's one missing. These are hand-finished. Oh, hand-finished. Belgian chocolate and orange torts. I think that's how you say it, torts. And I got them for 56p. They were originally £2.80. £2.80. I'm not going to lie, they are quite nice. Let me show you. Big Steve weren't a fan. He um, felt like it was a bit wobbler. Um, let me show you that. You see that? It is a bit of a weird one. It is. Like that top bit's dead light. It's a bit like jelly, really, but it's quite nice, I have to say. Um, but we shared it last night, but you weren't really a fan. But you know, not bad for 56p, just to see how the other half live. <laughs> these are my kind of brownies. I can never pay full price for these. Um, and the full price of these are £2.50. I mean, it's worth it. They do taste nice. Not as good as Lidl's Ultimate Brownie, honestly. Like, if you haven't tried a Lidl Brownie, please, please try it. Like, thank me later. I also got some of these as well. Um, these are brioche rolls. Originally £1.55, but I got them for 31p. So boys are happy with that for breakfast this morning. Um, and cereal. They had cereal as well. Managed to get a bit of fresh as well when I was well chuffed when I got these because I use peppers quite a lot, to be honest. Got a big bag for 41p. They were originally £1.65. So I thought that's a right bargain, you know? Got all them in there for 41p. It is worth checking out your reduce because they did have a lot more on there. It's just bits that I wouldn't buy, but somebody else might really love and enjoy. Do you know what I mean? So it is worth it. There were tons of sandwiches ready meals lots of milk just bits like that loads of snacky bits so grabbed a broccoli as well because we go through quite a bit of broccoli and all um 34p down from 65 it's not a major reduction but a reduction still 
Does that make sense? Lastly, from my co-op reductions, I got a bit of tortellini. I have to say, I do like this. Um, this is the spinach and ricotta one. Very nice, honestly. A bit of sweet chilli sauce on this, like, that's all you need. This is originally £2.10. <laughs> £2.10? I got it for 42p, so I'm chuffed with that. I'll take it at 42p. Like I said, I'm not cheapskate, but with two kids and, you know, Christmas around the corner and stuff, I do work my arse off at work, but I just... You know, you've got to save pennies, haven't you? On to my two good to go bags now. If you don't know what it is, I've done this quite a few times on my channel. Basically, it's an app, like a food wastage app. And the shops on there that will put food that's like going to go out of day or, you know, like end of day stuff that they can't shift that needs to be eaten that day. Personally, I think it's a great app. Like if you're struggling for money or you're on a budget, go on too good to go and honestly see what's about in your local area. Everywhere's different. So really, I've only got spa. There is quite a few in Skeg Vegas. Um, still a lot of them are spa. Um, Morrison's is very hard to come by in my area. It always says sold out, so I never get a Morrison's one. I have done a Morrison's one before on my channel. My ones today are from Spa. I grabbed two, they're £3.9. Um, so basically you pay for it and then you reserve it. You go and collect it from like 7 p.m. onwards in my area. I'm not sure if that's everywhere. Very varied what you get in your bags or your boxes. It's very different each time. I've had like joints of meat or things like where you could pretty much feed your family for quite a few days. Um, but then other times it is like shit to be honest. Like, I've seen quite a few people have mouldy things and stuff. You can report back to the app if it does concern you that much. You know, you can get refunds and stuff. Obviously you're still paying for a service, do you know what I mean? So you're not expected to have like mouldy food or anything. So you can report back to Too Good To Go and they'll like deal with it. Each bag is different. And in my first spa bag, I got these. So um, I'm quite lucky really that Big Steve likes all of this kind of stuff and the boys. I don't really like this type of stuff. I'm more of a brownie girl. It's a cinnamon apple donut. I mean, that sounds quite nice, cinnamon apple. And this one is a triple chocolate donut. They were 50p each, so they would have been in their reduced section. So if I'd have bought these without getting a bag, um, so far this is a pound, and I paid £3.9 on the app. So in the bag were these as well. So these are Sultana scones. You get a four pack, originally £2.29. Get a big pack of these down over in for a quid. But these are £1.15 reduced. Not really my cup of tea. They're a bit big and bulky, to be honest. You know, a bit heavy, aren't they? A bit like, I don't know, I just find you constantly chewing, do you know what I mean? Gives you right dry mouth. But so far, £2.15. And then also a three pack of donuts as well, which were 50p down from a pound. Then lastly in that bag were some blueberries as well, which were originally £1.65 and I got them for 82p. Altogether in the first bag, I paid £3.9 and the total at the reduced price was £3.47. So it is a little bit more than what I paid. And you know, you can't really complain because like it's potluck, do you know what I mean? You don't know what you're getting. Everything's perfectly edible in that first bag. The second bag I got from Spa, not so great to be honest. And I don't really moan at stuff, do you know what I mean? Like I'm not really wanting to Go, oh my god and go marching back do you know what i mean but um like this looks pretty grim so it's a bag of roasted vegetables but they're just drenched and soggy and mushy and stuff so there's a lot of fluid in there down to 50p but it is it's just very soft and mushy so i'm probably not going to use them which is a shame because they would have been quite good a bit of like a creamy colored water i don't know Ugh. this bag was a lettuce um it's a bit brown in some places it was down to 30p i mean if i'm going to use it i can chop that bit off because the rest of it's quite firm quite solid and seems all right and another bag of salad as well um that one's had it and all a fair bit of juice in there like it's quite watery um sweet and crunchy salad which is actually my favorite salad so it's a shame really the bag's starting to go a bit big as well i've heard like when the bag goes a bit What's the word I'm looking for? Like when it starts to go like a balloon, if you know what I mean, then it's not really good to eat. But yeah, I'm not going to touch that either, but that was down to 50p from a pound. And then I got some of these as well, which I'm not mad at because I do like these. You know, a pork pie with a bit of pickle, like I said in my video the other day, you cannot beat a pork pie and a pickle. These were reduced to 82p. They don't say what they were before, but, um, you know, I imagine they're probably about 150 or something. And lastly, I got some fruit, I got some strawberries and blueberries. So I was well chuffed for that because, you know, none of them have gone funny or anything. Perfectly fine fine so i'm well sure for that because this probably would have come to quite a bit on its own um and they're reduced to a pound each these trays so i've definitely made my money back an 82p for the blueberries i love strawberries they are one of my favorite fruit blueberries on my quaker oats in the morning you know so i've definitely made my money back here like i don't even need to add it up just the funky veg really that's gonna go in the bin overall i'm quite happy with the bags that is the end of the video hope you enjoyed it i will link too good to go in my description box as well it's not like sponsored or anything i just use it quite a lot i really enjoy the app don't forget to leave a like and subscribe also turn the notification bell on so you're alerted whenever i upload a video 
Hello. Also, if you do want to follow me on Instagram, it's fayj202. Again, I'll link that. And I hope whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world right now, you're having a great day or evening, and I'll see you in my next video.